This is the age of data processing. Modern, efficient, swift, and unerring, data processing has brought to American business new capacities, new economies, new vistas of unlimited opportunity. Scientific achievement has revolutionized every function of the industry. The input function, in which information is generated. The data processor, in which information is stored and computed. The output function, in which information is put to use. In each of these functions, the slow, inaccurate, and costly human element has been replaced by automatic electronic devices. To perform the function of data processing, we have new and faster computers with new programming concepts, with larger memories and lower costs. Our progress in this area has been rapid. To save time and money, we have automated the output function with faster line printers, visual displays, and instantaneous data transmission. And to modernize and speed up the input function of our up-to-date electronic data processing systems, we have completely eliminated the costly human element by... Uh, uh just a minute now. Uh, miss? Oh, miss! Do you mean me? Yes. Uh, what are you doing? I'm punching holes in those little cards. You what? See these? I punch them. They're for our electronic brain. Some brain. Can't even read English. All it can read are these little holes. See that? I did all of those this morning. Is that all? What do you mean, is that all? Look, I'm only human. I only have two hands. Uh, I'm sorry about that, Susie. But you've helped us make a point. That despite our huge strides in handling data, and despite our modern system of using that data, we're still saddled with an antiquated method of feeding data to our computers. We're still preparing data by hand. And hands are slow. Hands are costly. Hands make mistakes. There are more than 300,000 key punch operators in this country today. At an average annual cost of $8,000 per operator, Key punching is costing U.S. government and industry about two and a half billion dollars per year. Obviously, as new third generation computers begin to be used to their full capacity, data volumes and input costs will increase drastically. And you can't blame Susie and her army of sister key punchers. They do their best. Blame that electronic brain. Some brain, as Susie put it. Because it can't read English. Because it has to have written words and numbers translated for it into all those little hand-punched holes before it can do its job. Sorry about that, Susie. But here's a thought. Suppose we could educate our computers. Suppose we could teach them to read. Not from punched holes, but from ordinary letters and numbers from raw data to computer in one easy step with no hole punching in between. Good idea? Sure. But it's not an idea any longer. It's been done. some of the world's smartest electronic data processing systems. Smartest because they can read. They read airline tickets, retail sales checks, money orders, typewritten manuscripts, insurance premiums, bank checks, deposit slips, army allotment forms, an almost infinite variety of intermixed letters, numbers, and symbols in a variety of type styles, ordinary everyday styles, and they read them directly and immediately right from the paper they're printed on. In other words, without punched cards. The computers themselves are no different. They've been there a while. The difference is here, in the electronic retina computing reader. The reader was developed by Recognition Equipment Incorporated in Dallas, Texas. 
this young, aggressive firm took a fresh approach to the problem of optical character recognition. Optical character recognition, OCR, up until then, had been restricted to very limited applications involving stylized printing, controlled conditions, slow speeds, and low reliability. A nice idea, all right, but not very practical. At Recognition Equipment's lab, they threw out the old ideas of TV tube scanning and columnar sensing. As a model, they took the most efficient, dependable reading device they could find, the human eye. This OCR system was practical, and the object of the development effort was simply to duplicate in hardware the part of the human eye that sees and recognizes, specifically to create an artificial retina, the electronic retina. And this was the result. The electronic retina reads like the human eye. Behind each tiny lens, there is a silicon chip sensitive to black, white, and the shades of gray in between. Like the rods and cones in the retina of the eye, these photocells are interconnected so that each single cell sees not only its own portion of the object in view, but also the portions covered by other cells around it. Why? Well, take the character R. In older scanning systems, a sweeping beam crisscrosses the letter, seeing only a tiny portion at a time. It can't tell a smudge from part of the character. It can fail to see an actual part of the character that is lighter than the rest. And an error can result easily. But the electronic retina sees the whole character and its surroundings all at once. And because its cells are interconnected, it can judge relationships, dismiss smudges, and accept even the light portion of the character because the area next to it is even lighter. It's accurate. The electronic retina reads at least 10 times more accurately than any other system yet developed, with less than one error in every 100,000 characters. To even approach this accuracy with manual key punching would require 100% key verification. One girl to verify for every girl punching, double the personnel, and double the cost. Susie and her sisters typically make three to five mistakes in every 1,000 characters they punch. Most OCR systems make at least one mistake in every 10,000 characters they read. With a monthly data volume equivalent to two million punched cards and a mistake correction cost of only two dollars, the annual cost of mistakes made by one of these readers would be $192,000. And we all know that things like billing errors usually cost much more in dollars and lost goodwill. With the electronic retina computing reader, this would be reduced by $180,000 a year. This is the major significance of the electronic retina. It reads well, and it reads fast, up to 2,400 characters per second. Once developed and operational, the electronic retina formed the focal point around which the researchers could build a complete working system. The first production OCR system with the ability to read ordinary typed or printed data from ordinary paper and to compute while it reads. The electronic retina computing reader is an integrated system. There's a paper transport for page size documents and unit record size documents. There's an electronic retina and recognition unit, a programmed controller, and usually a magnetic tape transport. The page carrier handles intermixed pages from three and a quarter by four and seven eighths to 14 by 14 inches. Intermixed weights, too. When the carrier is activated, a jet of air separates the pages so that only a single sheet goes through at a time. The page is wrapped snugly around a rotating platform and held by a vacuum. Three of these platforms revolve much like a Ferris wheel so that while one is loading a page, one is reading and one is unloading. With only a single page on each platform, there is no way for the machine to jam. 
As the page spins underneath a reading station, it is being read character by character, line by line, at speeds up to 2,400 characters every second. If the reader runs across a page with a character that can't be identified, it puts that page in a separate output pocket and marks the line with the rejected character so that corrections can be made. This happens less than once in every 10,000 characters read. The document carrier handles intermixed paper sizes from three and a quarter by three and a quarter inches to five by eight and three quarters inches. It handles intermixed weights from 12 pound flimsy carbon backed paper to heavy cardstock. Again, a jet of air separates documents and one by one they are picked up by a vacuum and carried to a belt roller system at speeds up to 1800 documents per minute. The document carrier can have one or two reading stations, reading either one or two lines from each document. Even at a rate of only 600 documents a minute, paper is moving through the system at a speed of about 200 inches per second. After the documents are read, they can be sorted. With split-second timing, gates open to admit them to any one of from three to 12 separate output pockets. A slotted wheel catches each document and slows it down and stacks it neatly. The two paper transports, the document carrier and the page carrier, can be used singly or in combination on a single electronic retina computing reader. This dual capability and the ability of each to process a variety of intermixed sizes and weights takes most of the headaches out of changeover. But these swift and efficient paper handlers essential as they are to a workable OCR system, are merely transportation. The primary business of the reader is reading. In the human optical character recognition system, an object's image passes through the lens to the retina. The information moves through optic nerves to the brain, where recognition occurs. With the electronic retina computing reader, the same process is involved. The image of a character is picked up by a lens in the reader as a page or document passes it. This image is magnified and reflected onto the electronic retina, a matrix of solid state photosensors. Just as the human retina feeds its image through optic nerves to the brain, so the electronic retina feeds its image through circuits to the brain or recognition unit of the reader consisting of printed circuit cards. Here is stored the system's vocabulary. It can store up to 360 different characters, and it will read even more. Complete upper and lower case alphabets, letters, numbers, special symbols, fonts from typewriters, line printers, adding machines, and other standard office equipment. The system compares each unknown character simultaneously with every character in its vocabulary at speeds up to 2,400 characters per second. The identified character is then recorded on magnetic tape or other output media such as punched cards, punched paper tape, printed forms, and data transmission systems. Whatever language your computer speaks, the electronic retina computing reader speaks it too. The programmed controller lets the electronic retina computing reader compute while it reads. Lets it accept information in a variety of input formats so that data can be processed in its existing form. And lets the system check up on itself and on the material it's reading. And that's the system that can teach your computer to read. To back up this system, recognition equipment provides a range of supporting services a trained marketing staff, a growing programming staff, and a library of programming systems. With these programs, the electronic retina computing reader can give you an accumulative summary of its performance on demand. You can find problems when they crop up, not later. Recognizing the importance of fast and continuous service Recognition equipment provides at every installation a full-time resident systems engineer trained not only in equipment maintenance, but in programming and forms design. 
With faster computers of increasing capacity, there's a continually expanding demand for data processing. Key punching costs about six cents for each 100 characters, and that cost is rising all the time. It is becoming more and more obvious that the conventional hand punching methods cannot economically handle the growing data processing volume. The solution seems clear, a fast, accurate, and economical means of data input. And the electronic retina computing reader meets this need on every count. A speed of up to 2,400 characters per second. An error rate of less than one in 100,000 characters. And as for economy, it's already on the job, cutting costs for an impressive list of computer users in the United States and abroad. For United Airlines, it is handling revenue accounting, reading an average of 85,000 tickets a day, and saving 10 to $15,000 a month on this application alone. It soon will be doing similar work for other major airlines. For American Express credit cards with annual billings of almost three quarters of a billion dollars, it will provide significant savings by processing charge tickets and statements for almost two million cardholders. For the Chicago School Board, it's keeping tabs on the academic status of half a million school children from 600 Chicago schools, doing a job no other system could perform economically. For the U.S. Army Finance Center, it's processing allotment forms from Army bases all over the world, 10,000 of them a day, typed on almost every make and style of typewriter in existence. For the state of Michigan, it's taking care of more than 5,000 driver's license applications every day. It will save more than $600,000 during the first three years of operation and $100,000 a year thereafter. For a number of Florida's newspapers, it's taking hot news right out of the newsman's typewriter and speeding up the publication of the daily news at vastly reduced costs. At the Swedish Postal Bank in Stockholm, it's handling daily banking transactions for 500,000 account holders. Now the input function of modern data processing can catch up with the times thanks to the electronic retina computing reader that can turn your computer into the smartest computer in the world. Look, fellas, I can read. Well, it's about time.